transform your hair with hair growth products by 12 tribes on earth. Experience natural, powerful ingredients that promote thicker, longer, and healthier hair. Say goodbye to thinning and hello to confidence. Hair growth oil, shampoo, spray, and butter by 12 tribes on earth because your hair deserves the best. Just look for the links in the comment section. I would like to thank one of my subscribers for this story, Justice the Truth. Thank you. Thank you very much. You know, Joe Biden and many of the politicians tried to say the illegals really are not committing that many crimes. They sure seem to be committing lots of crimes in places like New York and Chicago. But let's get into the story. So two Venezuelan illegals carjacked an off-duty NYPD officer. You know how he caught up to him? They actually um, carjacked him at gunpoint. And he had left his iPad in his BMW. And that's how he was able to track them down. You know, you know having on that find my phone, I guess in his case, find my iPad. Yeah, led him right to these two people. Mm -mm -mm. But according to them, they are not committing that many crimes and everything's being greatly over exaggerated and yada 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 right so two suspects who authorities said are venezuelan migrants were arrested for allegedly carjacking an off-duty new york police department officer in harlem Sources told the newspaper, which was the New York Post, that the men were carrying a fully automatic pistol. As the pair drew their guns and approached the officer who was sitting inside of his 2020 BMW at around 11.30 p.m. Friday at West 146th Street and Bradhurst Avenue. Wow. One of the suspects reportedly knocked the officer's gun out of his hand and demanded the officer turn over his keys and then drove off. The officer's iPad was in the car at the time and investigators used it to find the car after the theft. So they found the car empty less than a mile away. This is according to sources. Mm, mm, mm. So they said one suspect definitely got the gang tattoo on him. And he does. It's on his neck. Police eventually found the two while searching the area and recovered two guns. The two men have been identified, but you don't you don't know that for sure because these dudes don't give real names. They don't give real names. Jomar Crespo, 21, and Jose Rivera, 20, of Waterbury, Connecticut, according to local reports. Photo shows the suspects with tattoos on their neck that they believe is associated with a Venezuelan gang. Yeah, I mean, they're all here now. Thanks to the democratic policies, these are the kind of people you let in because of the birth rate. So anyway, NYPD did not respond, uh, but local reports indicate that the two were charged with robbery, grand larceny of a vehicle, criminal possession of a machine gun, 
possession of a loaded firearm, possession of stolen property, making rapid fire modifications to a gun, and unlawful possession of an ammo feed device. Mm -mm -mm. So this is what America is dealing with, y'all. This is who got across the border, came in America, and immediately started committing crimes. And America is allowing it because the birth rate is lousy here, and they're scared and trying to stack the bodies up in here at all costs. Don't care who they're stacking up in here. Just drag them in here so we can count them. Wow. Unbelievable. Well, that officer is lucky to be alive, especially if they had the weapons that they're saying in this article. He's lucky to be alive. For real. Now, it does not say how much damage was done to the car, if any was done. They just said they found it about a mile away from where they originally did the carjacking. But ladies and gentlemen, this is why with these people coming across the border, no one is safe. No one is safe in their own community because of what this country has done. You got all these people in here and you don't have real names. You don't know who the hell these folks are. You know, they said before they come across, they toss their ID. They're told to toss their ID. And that's why so many come across the border with nothing. And they just give a fake name. I showed you a guy a, a few weeks ago. He was arrested over 10 times and gave 10 different names. <laughs> okay. I mean, you ain't getting no real name out of these people. They're not going to let you trace them back to some prison in uh, Venezuela. They're not that crazy. But y'all, tell me what you think about um, two Venezuelan illegals that just got arrested for carjacking an off-duty NYPD officer at gunpoint. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all be careful up there in New York, my brothers and sisters. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.